Yo guys, what's up? It's Severe. So today I'm going to show you guys how to edit like some of your favorite highlight editors. Numby, Cleric, LMGK, Yarn, you know, all the goats, you know, you know how it is. So this is basically what I'm going to show you what to do while my video plays. Alright, part one, we have syncing the clips. So how I sync, I use timer map. So exactly for here, this is my graph for this. Basically how it looks. This is so there's like no type of frame loss or, or any of that BSF there. And then I'm gonna show you on this last clip on how I do it. Now we pull this clip out. Boom, gets the kill. Control Shift D, Control Alt T. Pull this time ramp out. And I say I want it to end right here, right? I'm gonna right click, easy ease, go to my graph editor. Click plus my keyboard to zoom in and literally just do exactly like this. I go to preview and I click frame by frame by frame by frame by frame. Just to see if there's any duplicate frames, which if duplicate frames mean frame loss, and you don't want frame loss because it makes your video look super choppy. Like right there, see? So all I'll do is maybe, maybe like move this in more and move this down, or yeah, I'll move this down a bit. And you got, you got, if you ever have it where there's duplicate frames, all you do is just, just mess with your graph a bit. Like that, and boom. There's no duplicate frames. There's none, and and that is how you sync your clip. Boom. I think I have an velocity there. Yeah. Boom, and that's how you sync your clip. Syncing is super easy, and adding all the effects is super easy. Now you're gonna have part two where you add all the effects. All right, now let me show you what I did right here. So we have our screen pump, we have our shake, we have our till shake, we have our levels, and we have our warp and our RGB separation thing. Wait, this what I think it is? Yes, it is. Alrighty. So this is literally what it is. You get you get you get your transform. You click scale. A couple frames before, like see right here. Make a keyframe. Make a keyframe for uh, one. Let's do. Let's do one fifteen. Then right here. Keyframe for hundred. And now we're gonna easy ease this or F nine. Move your graph in. Move your move your graph down. Graph down. Graph in and a bit up. And that's how you do your little uh, screen pump. I would call it. As you can tell, boom, that little oomph of it. All right, after that, we're going to add our tilt shake, which is I have my own tilt shake that I made. Let me show you. These are the settings. You can, you can pause it and look. It's all off, all off, and that is for my Z, and this is for my tilt. And I have that, you know, this, this is my graph looks for my, uh, Till shake as well, Sh you know, showing you about that. And then under my till shake, what I would usually add is another thing. So I have my trick shot impact, which I'm gonna put that right here. Which is I usually mean put the twitch around five. Put my my film glow to maybe like 85. And yeah, ba basically what I do. I'm gonna move this above above this because I. Does have a transform there. Ends at three. And that's, or maybe I might make the twitch a little bit, maybe like 10, you know, whatever I like to do. And then we're going to have that RGB. So I'll type in RGB. Let's go down. And it is, yeah, simple RGB separation. So. I'm maybe a couple frames before, click U, go here, put it 50, do NC 
here, put a zero. I easily use this, go to my graph editor, and just, like, it's so easy for everyone. Simple do this, and then do this. And then same for the levels. The levels is really easy. You literally just go to type in levels, click the timer, go here, and then let's say let's do it blue. Then move this down, then move this up a bit. Does it want that to go to blue? Then click, you know, reset right here. And all the all you do is just mess with the graph. And I'm gonna show you what I do for mine. Alrighty, so my graph did not want to actually show. Alright, so my graph did not want to show. It's still low down here. So all you do is pull these lines together. And same for here. You literally just pull this, pull this in. So when that blue comes up, it's there for a bit. It's not too long, but it's there for a bit. And that, right there, that's how, that's how you do it. Now you add your warp. Literally, you can type in warp, scroll down to the bottom, go here, turn it on fisheye, maybe go right here with put your bend on zero. Right here, we'll put it maybe like negative 65, and on two, it will become 20. And then you put it right back to zero. And same thing, you're gonna easy ease this. Go here, and like, you do the same thing with your graph. Well, for this graph, um, actually, yeah, I'll do this, do this way for the graph. And it comes in. Same thing here, bring it down. I'm gonna make this a little like um, longer. So yeah, that that's how you do all the effects. And boom, that's how you do it. How you, that's how you do it. A simple, really nice shake, screen pump, and you know, a little shake after that. Of course, you, you can make your shake more or not. Alright guys, you've made it to the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now, if you like the gameplay you're watching right now, I would go purchase my editing pack. There's a link in the description, top of the link. All the stuff you're watching in the screen right now, that will be in my pack. I'm going to have private tutorials in the private Discord. There's going to be my presets, there's going to be tons of overlays, cinematics, pre-recorded cinematics that are really good, a tutorial on how I do my cinematic intros, on my text, tutorials on sound effects, private tutorials on your effects, and syncing, and pan crop, all that good stuff. If you would love to think I'm really good at how the editor, I would definitely advise, or montage too, because the stuff, you can import the same stuff the montages, it would work out fine. So if you really enjoy this kind of type of content, and support me i would love you so much if you would click the description and buy that pack if you would like to thank you guys so much for watching this video if this helps you please like comment share subscribe and send it to some of your friends hopefully it helps them out too thank you guys so much